You all right, sir? No, I am not all right. I got a family up there. Two daughters and a wife. I got a nuclear bomb headed right this way. Anyone else in here all right? Yeah, things are getting real tense there, right? <laughs> it's season two of Salvation on CBS. The world is finding out the truth that an asteroid is headed towards Earth and things are getting out of control. Again, uh, season two premieres Monday, June 25th at 9 p.m. on CBS2, so definitely stay tuned for that. Joining us right now, Jennifer Finnegan. You play Pentagon official Grace Barrows. I do. Season one wrapped up, right? Yes. And what was reaction from you were getting just from fans, from the cast? About from that, season from one? From first season wrapping up, yeah. And just the storyline yeah. was up to there. I mean, it's it gets a really good reaction. I think that mm -hmm. the people that... Um, that like the show, sort of rapidly like the mm -hmm. show. We have a really like voracious fan base. Um, uh, f you know, the show is mostly about the Im this impending asteroid and the mm -hmm. sort of scary impending doom of that. Um, but at the same time, you're still like living your life. You still have uh, crushes and whatnot. So there is a little love triangle, and the fans seem um, particularly into yeah. that life aspect. Life goes on, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're watching this clip there. Things obviously get very tense. Yes. People finally know. Apparently, in season one, this was kept pretty much a secret. Only a select group of characters on this show knew that this asteroid was coming. Exactly. Now it's coming in. We're it's seeing out. the best and worst of people, right? That's right. The public now knows the secret is out, um, and people go bananas. <laughs> There's looting. It's crazy. Um, but you know, it's. I, I think at the same time, it's like, what? What do you do? Does that bring out the best in you? Does that bring out the worst in you? And I think the answer is both. You know, it sounds like such a crazy theory, but we've had it in the news in the past that scientists predict at some point that there is an asteroid Absolutely. that's going to be heading our way. So it's yeah. not that far-fetched. Well, that's why we call it science faction and not science fiction. Um, because, oh. yeah, we have like we have a great um, science consultant. Uh, his name is Phil Plate. I think he's the bad astronomer on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he always kind of goes through our scripts with a fine-tooth comb and makes sure that we're pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, we have to take a few licenses. It is sure, of Hollywood. Course. It, after is, all. it is a drama. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but of course, that I think that mm -hmm. could absolutely happen. And, you know, even politically, it gets like really contentious and it becomes oh, yeah. sort of geopolitical. It's, 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 I think it's a really smart and show. And that's what brings fans to the, to the TV set uh, every week. Yeah, because you don't just have mm -hmm. to be a sci-fi fan. It really has like a lot of political elements it's got like you know the love triangles right. for the ladies yeah did There's you have to learn a lot more about the science side of things or about the law enforcement side of things like the FBI well side? I'm really lucky um, I'm the only character I, my character essentially like represents the audience in the sense that okay. she's she's well she in season one is the um, Pentagon press secretary and in season two she's sort of promoted mm -hmm. uh, to the president's senior advisor but she is the audience in the sense that she's constantly going wait what Mm -hmm. um, hold on, could you explain that? <laughs> Wait a second. For, <laughs> for those at home who don't understand. And that's um, very important to have. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Absolutely. Now, you came from a background of daytime TV as well. A long time ago. How different is it? I mean, shooting a, a one hour drama compared to, I mean, it's a grind on daytime TV when you do a soap opera, isn't it? I mean, you know, I, I've sort of done it all. I've done daytime mm -hmm. sitcoms, one hour dramas. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say the biggest grind is actually the one hour drama. Really? Yeah, because even though you're cranking out shows on a mm -hmm. soap, you're doing sometimes 30, 40, 50 pages a day, your mind is a muscle, so you just kind it of. It just keeps going, right? And a lot mm -hmm. of, no offense to daytime, because I'm a huge fan, but sometimes it can get a little repetitive. Okay. So really, you find yourself saying the same thing <laughs> over and over again, just in different ways. Um, whereas in drama, even though we're doing a lot less, sometimes you're shooting like a 15 hour day. Right. And, with a and baby, is it still eight days for a one hour? Eight it days is. of shooting for one hour? Okay. Yeah. Whereas it's like one day per episode on daytime. Wow. So you really Incredible. are like a factory. All right. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here today and giving us some insight into season two. Again, season two of Salvation premieres Monday, June 25th at 9 p.m. over on CBS2.